Hello, raiding tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War with me, Blue Ankylo. In our last episode, we had a long battle with some easy troops where I've spent too much time being cautious, probably. But today, things could be different. Today, we're going to try to take on a raider. We'll see how we do. Last time, we took it down with two ravens. Let's hope for a similar experience. Enemy is padlocked. I don't know if we got super lucky or not, but on I'll be happy. This is not... This is not looking good. That That's looking really bad. We took a ton of damage there, and I don't know, we might have hit it a couple times. Let's keep trying. We gotta try, I guess. What's the worst that could happen? Lose all of our uh, ravens and have nothing to shoot down small ones? Yeah, that would suck. Come on, buddy. Good. Good. That good, actually. Good! Yes! Okay! Well, the first Raven pilot, I don't know about him. He was a little bit weak. But the second one, yeah, good job, buddy. All right, so we got a crash site. Another medium. We'll do that in a second. Just want to see how long my uh, aircraft can be out for. Well, the good news is we'll have two relatively quickly. The one that, I think this is the one that took tons of damage. It's going to be gone for a while. That hurts, but, uh, you know, I think we'll be okay. Let's, let's give it a shot. Um... I will save it first. I haven't had to do really any save scumming yet. I, I'm kind of proud of that, actually. But, uh... If we get just ambushed and massacred like that one time on the last campaign, just because it's that random chance, if you get surrounded right at the beginning, there's not much you can do. At least yet. Maybe once you've got better armor and stuff, it won't be so bad, but... I don't know. I don't expect to reload it, but you never know. If it's really bad, we'll just skip it. At least we shot it down, right? That's already half the battle. The uh, the panic meter is probably better just by shooting it down, even if we can't clear it out. All right, so I will take some good troop, some good troops again. We'll bring Sandless. Might as well bring the good ones for this trip. We'll bring. Who else has been doing good lately? We'll bring Josh. We got some uh, smoke grenades there and some med packs. I would bring the thunder down under, but it's not ready yet. <laughs> I don't think the, the rookies don't get to come for this one. They're going to have to wait till the next trip. We do have more assault rifles now, actually. Keep that in mind. So, we've got a medic, we've got infantry. We definitely want to scout again, monkey mark. And I think this time... That flashbang was pretty valuable. You've got good enough accuracy, I'm just going to let you bring a flashbang. I'll keep your HP as high as I can, but I'll let you bring a flashbang. Because that was pretty good last time. That had some tactical use. In fact, you know what? Instead of having two medkits, if we need to do that much healing, we're probably already lost. We'll bring two people with flashbangs to break the death, death grip of mutons, which I expect. We'll bring, I think a gunner would be nice. Yeah, we got a couple gunners. This time we'll have someone who can do... We won't need the, uh, the, uh, the shiv to do suppression. Dog can do suppression. We'll bring maybe a sniper again, probably, for long range. It's uh, another downed UFO, so... Did Rathorian do the last one? He's got really good aim. I gotta bring the one with the best aim. I mean, this is gonna be... I expect it to be one of our harder missions again, so, uh... That's good. Infantry, medic, scout, gunner, sniper, and probably an assault. Yes, bring our suicidal, possible suicidal dude. He's uh, the one who gets to run in there first if we need it. And then finally, maybe a second infantry, honestly? Yeah, let's bring Lythan in. Maybe he'll get promoted to Corporal. That way we'll have double light him up. And I think that'd be awesome. So we'll give the infantry laser rifles. Actually, we need to uh, remove, make items available, please. And we'll make sure the infantry, so Sandless, here you go, buddy. Laser rifle. And the scout will get a laser rifle. Also important because I took away his uh, laser scope. So this will help bring his accuracy back up to good numbers. Still got no weapons for uh, snipers yet, but that's okay. No new weapons. But we do have one for gunners. And is that it? Everyone's got, like, laser rifles now? We didn't even have to use the laser carbines. 
We just got one, two, three. F oh no, the medic, I think. Foster, you must have a laser carbine. Yeah, that's fine. You can have that. That'll be the best weapon you can get for now. All right, let's do it. Wish me luck, folks. We shot it down. Now we just got to try to collect the goodies. Listen up. I mean, I do understand that Long War Mod for the next should uh, present us with some missions that you just the aren't supposed to beat. So if we ever find a, lo a large UFO or Hopefully something, I'm not even going to try. Don't worry. <laughs> I, uh, I think we're pushing our luck with mediums enough as it is. We won't be going all the way up to uh, a large. Now, this map looks familiar. I'm having a bad feeling. <laughs> no, it's not the same. There's a truck. There's a truck right there on the bad one. Okay, so we're really close to the wall. Corner. So they'll be out there if they're out there. I suppose we ought to put someone here to see. I'm sure hoping it's not a first round disaster. Sniper's a little bit up front. I would have I would have put the sniper at the back if I was allowed to move it around. We'll, we'll move uh, Shao G up first. Enemy spotted. Of course you've slotted them. But uh, floaters are okay. As long as we don't find a whole bunch of other guys right now. We should, we should be in an okay position. Now, I say that, and I realize there's really not any cover. Um, you're going to have to actually move up to that next tree. Going there now. He has close combat, right? Close combat. So if they fly close, he'll still get a kind of a free shot at them. Let's get the infantry up here. Take a shot. Um, it'd be nice if we could kill one or two. If we could kill that guy, that would really help. Come on, Lythen. Ah, oh, come on, buddy. How about Sandless? Would you be able to kill one right now? 67? Come on. If we could kill at least one. Alright, good. That helps. That definitely helps. I think... It's better to have at least cover from one angle, so Doug, you can team. come to here. And, I mean, if we could kill that guy, I mean, I could suppress. But I think it's better to take the shot in this situation. And you got it. See? Good gamble. Alright, two down. We got one left. Now that one's the one you want to suppress, actually. Sniper can't see it. No line of sight. Josh can see it. But, oh wait, there's a little bit of cover right here. We're going to put... Rathorian has the uh, the very handy low profile. So now. I can move him there. He's not going to get to shoot. I don't think we're going to be able to kill this guy right now. But we're going to put you on steady weapon. And I'm basically going to hide Monkey Mark and uh, Josh at the very back. <laughs> They're not going to have any way of... Wait a second, Monkey Mark? All right, actually, you do get cover. Lucky. So you do get cover. And did we decide this was half cover? Well, half okay. cover actually is better. All right, so everyone, we managed to get everyone some amount of cover. It's easy to be flanked for a couple of you, but uh, we do have some overwatch to maybe prevent that. What you gonna do, We're Flota? You're running away, eh? Chicken. Chicken floater. Good, that's perfect. All right, now let's just be smart about this. We don't want to find a big nest of these things. I wish you had one more mobility, dog. Sniper can't see. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit scared to move over this far to open up that area. Let's just move I up to there a little. You still can't see him, that's fine. We'll just move up a little bit this turn. Nothing too crazy, basically. Get a couple more people in, uh, spread out in good cover, basically. I'm willing to move Dog over to here. It's only half cover, but it's pretty far out of the way cover. Remember, this is our boundary over here. He's not going to get snuck up on. Steady weapon again. And you guys... Yeah, you can... Now move up. Way. So everyone's now kind of not hiding in the corner anymore, which is, is kind of what I was hoping. I'm on it, Commander. Pretty good cover, I would say. I would be surprised if we can be broken in one turn. You never know, though. 
Mutons have some ridiculous accuracy, and they do have grenades, which we kind of all lump together for. All right, well, the, the floater is hiding. So we're gonna have to just move up carefully. Just hop from tree to tree, basically. We'll find him eventually. Uh, this is a medium UFO, and we've lost an entire squad on them before. So, don't expect me to be doing silly, dangerous, aggressive moves. Do I dare move that far over? I dare. I can pull him back if I have to. Alright, no problem. Let's have you move all the way up to there. A little bit of half cover shouldn't matter right now. Sniper... Actually move you to there. Seeing as you get that... Full, you get that low profile. I do need to remember about that, basically. It's easy to forget. Because most of them... You know, the like, you know, I'd say, what have we got? Eight classes, so 70... Eight classes. 87.5%, you know, whatever. Seven out of eight. You can't do that with, but whenever you got a sniper, you got to remember, you can you can actually hide those ones easily. Did you hear that? Y yes. It sounded like floater. Floater in the motor. All right, so there's two. There's probably the floater over there and then some other group. That sounded more like a muton to me than um, a sectoid. <laughs> maybe I'm just, you know, maybe I'm overdoing it, but you know. Go peek your head up. Looks safe. I'll actually put you in full cover with a dash. The little half moves are smart. I say they're smart. Solid copy. Because if you see something really scary, you can run back. Alright. Yes, Dag, that's all you can do. You just up to short moves. Uh, monkey mark. Yeah, that'll Heading be fine. Out. We just keep hopping up, trying to follow them. We, ma we managed to scare that floater away pretty good by the looks of things. Affirmative. Just dash Moving up out. there, you should be okay. Try to keep everyone grouped together if I can. Ah, sniper again. Yeah, you're kind of... I don't want to leave you back by yourself, basically, so... Let's do this. Keep you up close. I don't expect you'll have line of sight if you're too far away anyway, so... our medic. So Josh, I'm not going to be dashing you up that far. You can just Force hang out by the tree. On the move. We only got one person with with the, all the medic stuff, so. Alright, here we go. Here we go. No overwatches? Come on, someone's got to get a free shot here. They're attempting to retreat. Is he? Looks like he's just standing there. How about our sniper? You got a shot. Good, take it. Come on, Rathorian. There we go. Good shooting. Good shooting. That's why this is the A team right now. Now, Sandless, it must just be like one shot out of range. One square. Monkey Mark, take it. Take him out. Yes! Wow, you guys are good. Dead and gone. Dead and gone indeed. I'll even let our. Uh... Hostile spotted. That's oh, just more floaters, that's fine. Uh, I will pull him back. Here. I am on it. Alright. Can anyone get... Yeah. We'll move Sandus up. Because he's a hero. Let him start... Oh. Let him overwatch, I guess, at least. And Dog. You're going to dash up to there. And Josh. You could replace... No, no. We want, we want the infantry a little bit closer. Oh, come on. That was not me... Clicking. That I just I didn't even uh, I didn't even um, right click. Usually you right click to move. Usually I right click to move. I think I double left clicked, and that caused the uh, small move. So we messed a step. We could have had one more Overwatch basically. If we die by one shot, I know to blame the UI. Sand orb just sandless. Come on. <laughs> Alright, floater. Overwatch, hey? 
What are you gonna do? Full cover and the super move. You think so, huh? You think that's a safe spot? Everyone freaks out, but honestly, that's not that bad. I'm pretty sure someone is just gonna go murder him. Dog, how do you feel about just popping back here and murdering that guy? I don't even really need to move you, but I will anyway. Just pop back here and kill it. I mean, really, this guy was pretty dumb. Maybe I should have used the hollow targeting on something more valuable, to be fair. Okay, yeah, this guy's on Overwatch. We can draw it out with a scout, or we can just kill him. Killing him works. I'm out of firepower. Ah, right, I'll reload. Sniper, that's kind of the wrong one, but that's okay. Kill that guy too is good. Well, you know, you can't hit them all. You can't hit them all. If you could hit them all, though, wouldn't that be nice? Um, no, that guy's still on Overwatch. Infantry. I guess, um... Yeah, I'll move the scout out to draw the overwatch. I thought about taking a shot at the other one, the other floater that's not on overwatch. But I decided this just uh, keeps our options open a little bit easier. And you might, I was thinking, yeah, you might have a sight. You might have a line of sight anyway from here. <laughs> it's like I planned it all along to be like that. Hoorah. Alright, next up. Well, I mean, uh, I know one thing that'll work. The, uh, the danger with this is that we find more aliens and then you're stuck out here. The good thing is you're a spare anyway. Reaction shot? Who had... Oh, did I miss one that has... I didn't know there was another one with rea with uh, Overwatch. That's crazy. I How could there be anyone else activated? Did I miss one? Did I miscount? I thought it was just three in that group. Hmm. Maybe I miscounted or something. Anyway, seeing as there's probably more up there, let's... Uh Let's get up there. It's a, it's a half cover Lythen, but if they're going to shoot anyone, they'll kill Chow G, so don't worry about it. <laughs> You'll be fine. And then Josh, you can at least have the tree, I guess. Location confirmed. Hmm. It's interesting that where that Overwatch came from. I guess I must have just missed one. Anyway, he's actually not flanking us, so it's they're totally fine. To lose That's pretty dumb, honestly. You already moved twice. You can't shoot now. <laughs> Stupid floater. That was really dumb. I I can't explain it. We're not getting any meld again. We never get meld. I, mean, I could keep moving up like a maniac and activating more UFOs. Or aliens, that is. No, I'd, I'd actually... I don't care if... Uh, if uh, Whatever. Chitong. Jang. Whatever you want to call him. Chilong. Xiaoji. He doesn't need the experience. He's not one of the heroes. Lythen could... He could get a kill, though. There you go. There you go, Lythen. And a reload. Ready to rock. Even better. Okay, good. Well, that worked. Let's do this. So we've killed two groups now, right? There should be... Well, there'll be... There'll yeah, most go. certainly be some outsiders at the UFO. And there's probably going to be at least one more squad just defending in general. I'm be nice to have at least one person on Overwatch up here. Sniper can... It actually would be nice to have the sniper up here. Where is this UFO anyway? Is it over here? Yeah. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, this is probably too far away. We'll need to be like up here when we assault the UFO, so that's fine. Rolling out. I was thinking of taking that hill, but I don't care. High ground's good, but eh. Heading there now. Monkey Mark, you did a good job there. Back taking in. out that Overwatch floater. You're just gonna wait for a turn. We'll move up next turn. Don't be too hasty. I mean, hasty is good for meld. It's also bad for people surviving. 
and I'm all about survival. I would say the gamble to get like five or six meld is not worth the chance of losing like one of your units basically. Heading to that location. Yeah, all right, found the UFO. On the move. I haven't heard anything the last couple turns, so you can imagine it's probably safe. Could you please? Sometimes the selection's a bit funky. Already there. Sometimes. So that meld was gone. Was there another one over here somewhere? I thought there was like another meld. It's probably gone by now. I thought I saw another. I, maybe I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen the um, the little direction icon that tells you, "Hey, go get that meld." That's affirmative. Now, this is a large-looking map, so it's fairly possible that there's still more patrols so out there. It. Remember, in the last medium UFO, there was actually some sectoids we ran into outside of it way later on than I expected. Rolling but, out. um... I don't know, we haven't run into any mutons yet. I mean, I... I thought medium raiders basically always had mutons. Maybe... Maybe I misunderstood. Or maybe the Long War mod changes it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just so awesome, they're scared of me. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll go that way first. We're not going to rush in there to spawn the outsiders. Hmm, they're growly. So, okay, there is meld. Maybe, like, just outside the UFO door. I really want to dash up there. There's no way to get up on this hill from where we are. Yes, Commander. Go there for now. Go there for now. Next turn we'll be able to move up a little bit. I'm rolling. But uh, I figure we might as well follow the sound, seeing as we do know there's some aliens up this way. way. Instead of rushing into the UFO. I, some people left me some comments the first couple times. Oh, you went in there too quickly, Blue. You should uh, make sure you clear out all the patrols first. I know, but uh, those were easy ones. Small UFOs don't matter too much. These guys, when we're, when we're fighting mediums or larges, or uh, the transport, some of the other really crazy things you get into, I, uh, I'll i play a bit safer. I, think. I mean, hey, I would say that just switching from that first campaign to the second campaign, my uh, abilities have improved, wouldn't you agree? Right. I mean, it feels like I'm a little bit better at the game just by, you know, playing it that much. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, right, you can't overwatch. Sorry, <laughs> just staring there looking at nothing. Well, this is just the floater UFO, wow. Alright, one out of six, or one out of four. Not great, but, you know, at least we hit the guy. Oh, hey, if you can kill it... They're shifting their attack. One out of five that shots connect. Good. And then the sniper and the assault aren't going to be doing anything. Don't worry, guys. I got your back. We've even got a sniper ready. 100, 65, 80. Well, I feel like it would be foolish not to take the 100%, but let's check what the other people have aims on first. This guy just looks to be really easy to kill, so I think I'm just going to let Monkey Mark do it, or maybe... Yeah, I'll just let Monkey Mark do it. It looks to be easy. I doubt we'll miss here. Yeah. And then the sniper can try one of the harder shots. Alright, Rathorian. Because for you, this guy's still pretty easy to hit. Much harder for the rest of them with the uh, long range penalty. There you go. Good shot. Good shot! Then we got... What do we want? Sandless, you gonna? Do you want to just run up there and kill everything? You can do it. You're gonna have life and move up here. I don't know if you'll have a line. He does good. Sometimes line of sight is easy. Hmm. It's a guaranteed kill if you hit that one. The other one could absorb some damage, but you missed either way. I think we'll actually move you over here. Keep you safe. You can't hit the other one anyway, so this is good. There you go, Sandless. That's why I keep you around. See you in hell. That's right. So, uh, what do you guys think? Oh yeah, this will be hollow targeting. Should have done this first. This will make it a little bit easier for the rest. I keep forgetting. It also could have killed him, but... 
that will make this shot for Josh a little bit easier. And failing that, Chow G, do you have your... Yeah, you got running gun. He'll be able to kill it either way. Moving yeah, to even position. if we can't get the hit kill here. And you got a good shot. There you go. Alright, one more squad down. down. And now our... Um, yeah, we'll just Moving dash on there. Location. Basically ready to go to the UFO. There's Looks like we're... Here. Well, I didn't mean to activate them, sorry. That was a mistake. But uh, it'll be okay, I think. If they kill Chaoji or Chaoji, Chijong, I don't know his name. He's not one of he's not one of my commenters, so I don't try. Alright, so that guy's in half cover. Flanking. Of course he's flanking. See that that's it's my bad. I'm sorry, Sandless. I should have held back a little longer. Does anyone, like, seriously not have line of sight? Wow, sniper rifle does. 45. What's on Overwatch? It'd be easier to kill that one over there, seeing as it's, uh, half cover. Where's my scout? J no, you're not my scout. That'd be a mistake. There we go. Dog. No, that's my gunner. Where's my scout? Where's my scout? I don't think you can get into any good... Well, yeah, you can get to here. It's that's half cover. Oh, but you didn't draw the overwatch. Why not? Well, let's think about this, because we want to concentrate shots. The sniper can only hit the one inside. Sandless should really back up a little bit. Dog can't hit anything, and he can't move to that tree. The sniper has squad sight lets him see, so if I move Dog to there, he won't have vision, I don't think. Don't have vision from here. Chow G could run and gun. Just straight in there, see what happens. But you only live once, Chow G. Chow G. Chow G. I keep saying Chow. It's Chai Long Chow G. Alright, go for it. On target. I wish. Oh, right! Yeah, Overwatch. Well, you know, whatever. Whatever. You might be dead. Maybe I'm throwing them away. Maybe I'm saving the rest of the squad. We can talk about it after this fight's over. Good. Now he's going to get one more hit. I think we'll start with the sniper. Because that's the only one he can see. If you can just hit this guy, that'll end it right now. Good. Yeah, 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 Valen. Blah, blah, blah. Then, I mean, if we can kill two in one turn, I'll be pretty impressed. Might as well take this shot. 55. Good. Good. 55. I'm spent. Ah, we are. So now we're a little bit low. Lythen certainly should move to here and shoot. 58. It's unlikely to kill it, but do some more damage. And you hit him anyway. Ooh, now we have some options here. Um, We've got three people. But not enough cover or ability to get a line of fire unless we stand out in the open. I think we take it. We don't let him get another shot off. 61. Yes! Yes, yes, Valen. Now. Sandless? I had to take a hit there because I ran... That guy, I ran him up there too quickly. But uh, now we can give you a little bit of heals. Don't worry. I guess you'll be out of commission for a while after this battle, but that's all right. Have you reload? I'm ready. All right. I think we're doing. I think we're okay. Now they're behind us again. Crazy. So I guess there must be one more squad of aliens. Pod. Sorry, pod. Aliens are pods. On my way. Now the sniper doesn't want to be the one. Reloaded. Running into them, obviously. Monkey mark. Moving to position. You better not see them yet. And I'm ready. Reload. We need a turn to reload. And yeah, you did a good job out there. <laughs> good I'm job, Shaoji. You took a shot. You ran in there for the team. Maybe I'll heal you. Maybe not. It's possible. It's Got more it. likely that I just... Uh, Heal up Sandless some more, though, to be honest. Sandless is too good to risk. 
Moving to position. I see, and also look at this tactics. I remember to move and then Time heal, so we at least out. made a little bit of progress in the right direction. I'm remembering some stuff, some of the good Heading techniques. Back on All right, and you definitely should reload. That was a good kill, dog. I was happy with that last kill on the outsider. I mean, hey, we killed two outsiders in one turn. We used to have a hard time killing one outsider in a, in a few turns. All right, Thin Men. This actually works good. We're not on Overwatch, but we're all in a good position. And uh, we should be safe here. All right, Sniper. Actually, let's see. You only hit those two from here without moving. You could move up. Let's see, options. Sandless. Oh, I was hoping you could get all the way up there to, to that good shot. Well, you could probably shoot from here. Let's find out if you'll have a sight from here. Heading to that location. It's possible. Yeah, alright, you got line of sight. Good. Lythen, you will. Well, if I group everyone up, they're gonna do some acid. Monkey marks. Possible to be flanked. It's it's possible. Sixty percent on that guy. You're not gonna kill him. I think what we do is we start with dog, and we throw a shot on this guy. If you miss, well, if you hit him, he's probably dead. If you miss, uh, at least it's hollow targeting. So the next guy will have plus ten aim, which will be sandless, because that's the only one he can hit. Good. Alright. And then with Thorian, you can only hit that guy, so you might as well take that shot. Good. Nice solid. You can hit either. I could move you first. Let's see, we got nothing from here. We'll just get you into the team. This has gotta be the last battle of the uh, of the mission. Pretty sure. No, I'll, I'll keep you back. You can actually hunker down. I don't want you to get killed. No need to get you killed. Lythen, how what do you think? Should I move you up a little bit? Well, if we get acid, it's okay. On the move. We just gotta get more shots on him. Oh, we can't. So that leaves us a medic. He's almost definitely gonna acid us here if he gets the chance. I think you should just take the shot. If you can kill that guy, that will help us out. Ah, well. I doubt you'll get flanked. Damn it, enemy is still alive. Running up. Okay, take him out with the overwatch. Come on, Foster. That's not good. We should have one more shot if we get line of sight. No way that just happened. No rounds. Or not. Alright, well, half cover. Good job, Sandless. Keep your head down. It's, death over here. it's a little bit risky. Half cover again. Acid. Okay, that doesn't matter. That feeling so good. As long as there's no more aliens to pop in behind us, we're pretty much okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe start with a the sniper. They're getting a little bit close. Oh, you can't see them anyway. We've got run and gun available again, so we can use that to finish them off. We'll open with uh, dog again because you'll have hole targeting. Or you'll just kill him, which is good. And then... I'm pretty sure no matter what, we're going to be able to run and gun and kill this guy, right? Well, actually, maybe not. It's a tough shot. Okay, let's actually... Josh, you can move back to reload. Less acid bait. It's killing time. We got three infantry ready here. If I could move you right to here, no, that's the that's the turn around. Well, you might have line of sight from here, Sandless. Let's see. Yeah, take it. Take him out. That's not good. It's not your job. You're supposed to kill. All right, Lythen, your shot. You would like a promotion, right? Here's your chance. Please kill. 
This is not the time to be missing all the shots, guys. It's not gonna help your situation out. Well, we basically have one option. I mean, you're not gonna hit him, Maybe 20%, not very good. Run and gun. I think you could get, yeah, this is as good as you'll be able to get without acid. It's a, well, it's a flank no matter what. Let's not be risky. That Permitive. should be safe. Moving out. No acid, please. No acid. Good. And then you just got a 100%. Okay, no problem. Yeah, run and gun saves the day. And that's it, right? Good deal. Medium UFO cleared, guys. That's the second one. I mean, we do have beam weapons to make it a bit easier, but nice. Three promotions. Sandless. Ooh, you get to be a sergeant. Well, strictly speaking, it's a sergeant, but, you know. Uh, so let's see. What do we get for infantry at sergeant level? You could learn suppression. I don't know if I would do that very often, although you could take a shot and then use suppression, which isn't a bad idea. You're going to be out of it for a while, so you're going to enjoy sick bay. Gives you some mobility. Oh man, you're going to be so mobile. Aggression. That might be what I take, because there's a lot of enemies in this mod, and uh, plus 30% crit is pretty good. They all give mobility, basically. I can give you a bit of defense. Or I could give you aggression. You're all about killing, right? More damage. A little bit of willpower actually doesn't hurt. Keeps you from panicking a little bit better. I don't know. Suppression's good too. But you're really a damage dealer, so yeah. We'll go with that. Aggressive, Sandless. That's good. So you can have pretty good crit chance there. And Josh, the medic. Oh, good. We finally got paramedic. So... This is what we pretty much always are going to take for a medic, at least as far as I'm concerned. This means you could use the medkit twice in a turn. Or you could use the medkit, move, and use the medkit again. It's incredibly good, um, assuming you're trying to heal people. This is good. This means you can use two smoke grenades, and then, of course, defense, or sort of tactical sense. This would start helping you out with shooting stuff, but, I mean, keep in mind your role. You're supposed to heal people. And eventually we'll have ways of healing more than 3 HP per turn. This will really, really help out. I mean, just with this, you can do 6 per turn. It just uses 2 charges. So that'll be good. And then Mad Dog Lythen. <laughs> yeah, you're going to take out Ranger. Ranger. You can start doing more damage. Why would I pick anything else? Alright, well I think that's it for this one. Pretty happy about all this. It's looking good. Make some money there. Sit room, sit rep is selling stuff. So how much money do we get here? This stuff. 120. I wish we hadn't destroyed all of this stuff, because I think we need more flight computers to get the next uh, aircraft, but uh, oh well. I think we need like four flight computers maybe? Anyway, got some money, that's good, and uh, I think that's about it. So I guess we'll see what the next mission is, and then I'll leave on a cliffhanger, right? Also, I want to remember when that workshop's done to do stuff. Okay, works. No, that's the shiv. Carry on. As soon as this workshop's done, we're going to order some satellites. And as soon as efficiency generated, we're going to start the uplink. Additional workshop All right. online. New construction. So now, if we go to the facilities, we should have... That should count out to 30% bonus, if I understand the way it works. We go to items. We go to satellites. And we're down to 105, so it saved another $15. I think they started at 140. So, um, you know, we're saving some money here. We need, uh, actually, three more. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And you're supposed to actually keep a spare of these, because the aliens can shoot them down. So it's good to keep one or two spares later on. Um, but I'm just, I don't have enough money for it just yet, the way I'm planning this out. Well, actually I do, but no, I want to be able to buy some interceptors. I actually, I'm a bit tighter on money than I may have let on, because as soon as our research is done, which is only about a week away, we're going to want to build a bunch of new weapons, so we need some, we need some cash for that. Alright, let's see if we can keep going a little bit longer before the next mission. Abduction sites. All right. Well, Commander, that'll be the next one. We have multiple reports of new abductions. Eighty bucks progress. doesn't hurt anyway. The locations are marked on the All right. Holocaust. So Bangalore, India, and I believe that will be our chance to get some more rookies promoted. 
yeah, Fluffy and the boss, you get to go next time. So I hope you're excited. <laughs> and we do have our second Thunder. I'll have to think of a good name for him. We got the Thunder Down Under and uh, figure out something else that makes some, makes me smile anyway. Look at this roster. Everyone's ready to go. Oh, one thing. Before we finish this off, anyone? Uh... Oh, no, I have to choose. Do I want Josh Foster to be the lieutenant? or the, You know, as much as I value medics, you got to lead by example. That's actually one of the, the abilities they get. And medics stay at the back and heal. The infantry rush out there and murder. So they get to be lieutenants before medics. Who ever heard of a medic being a general anyway, right? <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll, I'll stick with the plus willpower rather than fatigue reduction again. And uh, there you go, Lieutenant. Very nice. I like your I like your hair cut. That's good. <laughs> nice. You look like you could make an officer out of you. So uh, b we won't be able to add any more. And in fact, it's we actually if I felt like um, buying this, this would allow me to hire more lieutenants and also promote someone to captain, which gets us more bonuses. Um, but to become a captain, I was reading. You need to be a sergeant class. Well, we actually have one, although he's wounded right now. Technically, Sandless is already ready to be a captain. But uh, I don't feel like spending that 200 bucks just yet. Also, uh, let me just have a quick look here. Squad size. You need 115 promotions. You can kind of see how close you are. Um, we're not even at 75 yet, so we got a long way to go. This one required, I think, 55 or something. So we're probably like, you know, around 60 to 70. Once this unlocks, um, then we know we're at 75. Once this unlocks, it's 110. And then we'll be pretty much there. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, folks. We've got satellites finally getting ready to go. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. If we make enough money to build our beam lasers, our advanced beams, uh, I'll be pretty happy. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And have a great day.